Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video we're going to talk about the reflections on my March earnings for medium.com and this video has been one of the most highly requested videos on the channel because I did make a, a video talking about what I learned after writing on medium.com, how much I've earned over a one year period. I broke it uh, down and I really went in in deeper talking about the strategies that I followed and some of the mistakes. You can find that video, a link for the video in the description box below. You can access that through there. So um, just before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, like, share. Uh, we talk about daily um, tips and tricks, talking about uh, income streams that I've embarked on, everything that from writing on Medium and Vocal to publishing pre-on-demand on Redbubble and also sharing a low content, high demand, low competition KDP keywords and breaking them down for you step by step in order to help you succeed in making passive income online. So although I don't usually share my Medium earnings, on the channel but i'd like to attempt to do so simply because first of all to serve as a space to reflect on my earnings my mistakes and my successes for the month of march and i intend to do so every single month so if you're interested in videos like these then go ahead and subscribe another reason why i'd like to create this video is it helps me to set goals and it helps me to share it with my lovely followers on the channel in order to hold myself accountable and allow others to feel motivated as i share my journey and I also aim to inspire and motivate fellow writers on the Medium platform, especially those that are starting out or that are st struggling to make an income on Medium. Now, let's get on into the video straight away where I talk about my March goals, what was achieved in March, reflections for March, the mistakes that I did, and the next steps for April. And you can also find the full uh, blog article uh, for today's video in the description box below so you can access that through there. So first of all, what were my goals for March? Starting off with March, uh, what, what did I have in mind? Well, my main goal was to build my Medium blog by simply writing consistently at least every two to four days. Consistency for me was a problem because I had so much on my plate the last few months, everything from my studies to me having um, falling ill to uh, different factors here and there so it consistency for me was my main aim another goal was to embark on short form content short form content is basically short written pieces ranging from uh, one to two minutes long of read time so i've basically avoided short form since i started uh, on the medium platform back in november 2020 but I'd finally decided to give it a go in March. And I had no list of article topics, but I wanted to write intuitively in order to encourage a state of flow. Now, these were my goals, my two main goals. First goal was to write consistently. The second goal was to focus on short form written pieces in order to grow my portfolio. Now, what did I achieve? By the end of March, what did I achieve? Did I achieve any of my goals? Well, I achieved my goal of writing consistently during the month of March. I wrote 26 articles compared to the four articles that I wrote in February and the 24 articles that I wrote in January. 11 out of the 26 articles were short form. Three out of the 26 articles had over 70 views. In total, I made $42 for the month of March through the Medium Partner program with one referred member and what are my reflections for the month of March I've got four reflections for you today the first one is the short form experiment was enjoyable it allowed me to write more freely and to deliver short yet detailed information to the readers however I was expecting earnings to be a little bit higher as I put produced more content for the month of March, yet I'm happy with the overall result. I focused on a few different niches from entrepreneurship to psychology to artificial intelligence, and I did engage in a mini series about artificial intelligence and its role in sales, and I created four short form, uh, short form articles that were all connected to that niche. I felt like I, that 
basically without creating a mini series of short form articles that were all connected on one topic what did it do to my statistics what did it do to my um, read time well basically it really did help my stats and it helped in engaging the readers who enjoyed the technical articles more than the reflective ones i had more followers that um, enjoyed reading the uh, articles about artificial intelligence and that really helped to grow my exposure as well what were the mistakes that i did i did two mistakes in march that i would like you to make note of and to avoid in the future if you want to help um, yourself in, in putting yourself on the right track when it comes to writing on medium first of all i focused purely on short form articles i did not attempt to write more in-depth pieces to balance out the month you need both sh long form articles and short, uh, short form as well in order to succeed so when you're starting something new for example in my case i just wanted to try out for experimental pur purposes writing uh, shorter articles basically i went in all at once and this is one mistake that i did you need to go slowly don't go all in at once with the experimental things try writing a few short articles see how you go another mistake that i did is i simplified my headlines and this is one thing that i would like to do differently for the month of april is i would like to focus more on creating um, headlines that are uh, that are really uh, helping to get reads no i would not like to create any clickbait uh, headlines because that will really backfire and it will, will trick the readers into um into thinking uh, otherwise so i don't want to go through that route i want to create um headlines that really uh, push readers to read but uh, they're getting the value out of it it doesn't trick them or it doesn't um fool them into anything so three next steps that i'm aiming for the month of april first of all for the month of april i really hope to continue with the short form experiment I aim to produce one short form piece per day, which is a total of 30 short form pieces. Another thing that I would like to do is I would like to pay more attention to compiling more interesting headlines, as I said previously, and I would also like to write one to two in-depth or long form articles under the niche of side hustles because i find that writing about side hustles and specifically when it comes to uh, your experience and uh, your kind of reflections on the side hustles that you've personally tried and sharing your mistakes and the takeaways as well really do help because my for example my following really enjoys these kinds of articles so i'd like to focus more on them and i'd like to focus on creating one or two uh, in-depth long-form articles under the niche of side hustles i also feel like short form alone will not work there's a need for a balanced combination of both long form in-depth articles as well as short form simplified pieces and i've created uh, articles uh, According to the niche, I've created articles about artificial intelligence and sales. These had massive success because they were basically um, a combination of four mini articles. I wrote about my reflections on my writing journey, my um, favorite vocal uh, groups to promote my articles, as well as uh, two articles about KDP Amazon, low content publishing, uh, articles about health and business, Facebook marketplace, life and global warming. So these were my um, reflections on the March earnings.